Hello everyone, Bobby here, and welcome to a quick little tutorial video where I am going to be showing you how to do hanging indents on both Google Docs and Google Slides uh, on the mobile versions, because for some reason the mobile versions of those websites slash apps is different than on the computer. Starting off with Google Docs, it's super simple. However, there is one little tricky thing you want to be sure that you do. If you go to the top right corner, those three dots, you want to make sure that you have print layout selected um, and activated. Then you're going to come down here to the first uh, line that you want to indent, so the second line. You're going to press return once, that's not going to do anything. Then you're going to press return a second time just to make sure that it goes down. Press like the tab to move it to the right and then you can press backspace to move it back up. And as you can see, while that isn't technically a hanging indent, it has the exact same look. Just so it is clear, when you go back to print layout, the hanging indent is not gonna look right. However, when this document is printed or sent via PDF or whatever you use to someone on a non-mobile device, it will look like a correct hanging indent. It's just the way Google Docs mobile is formatted. Uh, it will look weird, but there's nothing to worry about. Unfortunately, for some reason, Google Slides does not work the same way. If we go through that same process, pressing return, indenting out, and then pressing backspace to move it back up, it reverts back to the left side. I'm not sure why that happens, but because of that, we have to move to a different uh, strategy. Coming over to your browser, whatever app you use, just search slides on Google. You're going to have to open this up in the background or else it will automatically open up the Google Slides app when you click that link and navigate to slides. But once you have that open on the website, you're going to select whatever text you're trying to uh, move. And what you're going to want to do is pull this uh, blue arrow at the top over. That's going to move everything over. Then once you have that, you just want to select just the, um, oh boy, the blue rectangle. And that will only move the first line over. Obviously because this is not this website is not designed to be used on mobile, it can be a little tricky, but as you can see, once you do that correctly, it looks exactly like we would want a hanging indent to look. So hopefully that cleared up how to make a hanging indent on the slides and docs mobile app. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you learned something, please leave a like, maybe share this with anyone who needs some help with this. Thank you everyone for watching, and adios.